What a rainy day. Makes me want to build something. Something with a something with a lot of hardware, a lot of parts, not a lot of instruction. I know I know just the place. Hey, namaskar everyone. How are you? Hopefully everybody's been doing fantastic. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. I hope you're going to stick around. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. As always, welcome back means we are on another adventure. And it also means that you're going to want to know where we are and what we're doing. We are in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, Moon Township. We're actually in the Robinson Town uh, Center today. And what we're going to do today is we are going to visit one of the world's largest, not one of the world's largest, but the world's largest furniture retailer. If you're ready for today's adventure, I suggest you get off the couch, you get ready, and let's go. We are right here. Right here. That is fantastic. Gotta go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at all of them. I think they're ready to kick my ass. Harden saliva. You're okay. You're okay for watching my channel. Jesus, God, Mamma Mia, look what we got. Shh. I said there's people still sleeping. Calm down. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. I told you she was afraid of bridges. Do not. Stop it now. That is the starting point of the trail. I, I guess. I don't know. You can start at the beginning or you can start at the end. I don't think it matters wh where you start at. Uh, but wherever you start, that's your starting point. <laughs> oh, shit. That's why I tell you, take a sip. <sighs> History. Better Malanga. So I usually do these intros outside. But as you can tell... By the windows and the sound, it's pouring down outside. So I'm gonna do the intro right here in the car. Um, I think that there's two kinds of people in the world. There's people who love Ikea, and there's people that just don't know about it. Now I mentioned that we're gonna visit the world's largest retailer in the furniture retailer in the world, and that would be Ikea. Um, it's a Swedish company. It was started in 1943 by Ingvar Kamprin. Um, Ikea being an acronym for his name. He started the company actually at the age of 17. It was a mail order company and it turned into what it is today. I think last time I checked or last time I read about it, it was up to 422 stores um, worldwide. I think there's more than that now. Um, the largest being in the Philippines, but um, they've been the largest retailer store since, I, I want to say, 2008, if I'm correct. That sounds right, 2008. Um, it's an iconic store. If this is your first time to visit an Ikea, I'm glad that I could take you on the adventure. I'm not going to show you everything. I, could, I couldn't possibly show you everything in this store. We'd be here for, you know, five hours doing it. So I'm going to try. When we go inside, you'll see how the store's set up. And I'm going to try to show you something from each section and how the store actually is laid out and, and what, what you have to do. Um, yeah, just a, a crazy store. Let me show you what looks like from out here like i said i'm in the parking lot and i'm not going to stand out in the rain but um i don't know if you can see that can you see there that's a little better right there ikea ingvar camprid that's what the acronym of ikea is for like i said but it's the iconic blue and uh yellow building uh kind of Kind of like Dollar General, uh, the, you, you see that black and that yellow. It's the Swedish flag. Uh, but that would be that would be on, you know, Dollar Generals are like on every intersection. Uh, but when you're traveling, most IKEAs that I know are off the highways, and you can see them. You know, obviously yellow 
yellow and blue being the, the Swedish uh, the Swedish colors. Um, but yeah, that was the breakdown of it. Started in 1943, largest furniture retailer in the world. Um, and they have meatballs. <laughs> they do have meatballs. You'll, you'll see when we go in there. If it wasn't raining, we'd probably get a glimpse of some planes going by. Um, we're by the Pittsburgh airport, which is a, it, it makes this Ikea pretty cool to come to. But you know what? Enough about that. Let's get this adventure rolling and uh, I'll meet you inside. All right, so here we go. Ikea. And uh, everything everything is has that like Swedish uh, name and we'll be checking this out. They have the Swedish restaurant and cafe, but let me show you the let me show the iconic uh, Ikea. That's what you're gonna see. Like I said, most of them uh, are off the highway that I notice. I see a lot of them off the highway all the time. But let's go in here and I show you like the layout of the, uh, of how the store works. All right, so we got inside. And this is, I don't know, I've been to a few different Ikeas. They mostly have the same layout when you get inside um, and you're gonna see furniture uh, all over the place they have it set up it's it's everything's on display and how this works is you'll usually grab a pencil and a pad of paper and you'll walk through the store and you'll see something you like and you write the numbers down and we'll get to it at the end of the video uh, There'll, there'll be a room with all the boxes in it and that's what you get and that's what you get to put together a lot of hardware a lot of parts <laughs> and and not a lot of instruction but I've, I've had a lot of Ikea furniture and most of it most of it's pretty good I've never really had a problem with with any of it but uh, if you have kids uh, right over there kind of like the Eagle's nest of giant Eagle um, you can drop your kids off, you can go shopping, but, uh, yeah, right, right here, this is the entrance to Ikea. They do have an elevator here, but on my adventures, we don't use elevators, we use stairs. So that's exactly what we're going to do. See, right here, and different, different things, you can stop and read, they have... They have information on things uh, of uh, if you don't know what they are, like these little horses. See, Sweden. It's where Ingvar was from, and that. So let's keep uh, going up the stairs. Yeah, see, against the wall, you got them little shelves, and they have displays how you can set different things up the restaurant right up there which we will be hitting that we will be hitting that up and voila the start the start of the store so if you've been here you already know how it works if you've never been here i'm about to show you there's your pencils and this right here if you were buying, you, you, you want to get one of these if you're purchasing something. So this is basically what you're going to see when you come up here to Ikea. Different rooms they have set up. Um, and right here, $24.99. And this is what you're going to write down. So if you wanted to buy this rack right here, you would see what it is you know it's a clothes rack the name of the company it's $24.99 uh, and this is what you would write down aisle 14 bin 36 and you'll see what that means at the end of the video but again cannot well I see a lot of people taking pictures of that with their phone but the fun is writing it down I think that's the fun part but yeah check this out so I know a lot of college students come to Ikea. I like that wallpaper. 
little pretend window out there. That's a cool book right there. Oh, look. Pirates found Pittsburgh. I don't know. I don't think books. They do sell books here, but I don't know if they sell these kind of books. And no, it's not real. <laughs> so, but the setups are. There's your couches up there, chairs, whatnot. It's kind of a neat room here. Here's some of those horses there. Cactus. Check this little mud room out. I think, I honestly think this is new. I don't remember seeing this here. I, be, I think this room's new. But, uh, yep, it's can't get out. We are stuck inside. But yeah, ain't this cool? This is really neat. But yeah, different ideas, different ideas for you. Um, if you're looking to set different rooms up in your house. Little fireplace over here. Nice and toasty for a rainy day. Got the, is that a moose? It is a moose, the rocking moose. Here's the wall of chairs. Yeah, they uh, they did some changing around here. So they switched this, they switched the, the layout. Not so much the layout, but they switched the items every now and again here so it's always fresh now i didn't explain to you about the layout of this you look on the floor it's a bunch of arrows right it's a one-way it's a one-way store yeah they were working on this the last time i was here but it's a one-way store and it's like the natural way as they say um, that way you can see all of the store. He gets you to see all of the store and not just like scattered throughout. You have to follow the one way and experience Ikea. Got the fake washer dryers there. <laughs> they are. Now this is simulating outside. Little uh, terrace area. Got your little, uh, I don't know, put maybe some wood in there, or t whatever, whatever. Toys, your outdoor, whatever you use for outdoor. Pretty neat, right? Pretty cool. I, I, yeah, if you've never been to Ikea, you gotta, you gotta check one of them out. But, here we are doing it. Here's the couch area. Couches that turn into beds. Yeah, I got the wall of the wall of couches here. And they'll sell these pillows right here again. Oh, that, look, it's on sale for $3.99. All right. And see, these will be, these will be, uh, in a, you don't have to put these together, obviously, but they'll be in a, a different section uh, in another room. But these, I will say, uh, if there's one thing that I get a lot of from Ikea, it's, it is shelving, it is bookcases, and, uh, this area is the bookcase area. And these are actually pretty, pretty solid when you put them together, actually. A lot, now, I know during, uh, I think, the past few years when, when uh, you know, uh, the pandemic hit, whatever, they were out of a lot of stuff. They were like, I, I, I couldn't find anything uh, on shelving they were completely out of everything but i think everything's pretty much back in stock now um but yeah these little cubes and stuff like that they're they're pretty nice actually got that retro that retro 60s look on there 
same thing. Got that little retro look like with the plants. The greenhouse. Yeah, nice. Those. I have I have a shelf at home, a little bigger than that one, and it's uh, it worked out pretty well. But I checked these out. See, you can't open it. They, you can't open these in here to display. But look, I see uh, some Lego lego displays in there as well but you see how it's laid out you gotta follow it it makes you go through the store so you don't miss a single thing more bookcases to the right and you can search as well you see them screens right there you can search the uh inventory of what they have now we're in the uh, bedroom bedroom section Another uh, kind of like, not that section right there, but look at that. That's like, you know, kids, kids little bed in like a outcrop section of the room, I guess. Kind of like a city inspired. We are in Pittsburgh. Of course, that's definitely not Pittsburgh, but uh, got that city vibe look going on. Here is the Pittsburgh themed room here city of champs what do you think of that mural pretty cool right and here's a computer desk see it shows you what uh got the chair but yeah it's kind of neat because they have these rooms set up uh so you can kind of get an idea of what things are going to look at look like you're a gamer put your LEDs right there look at these code hooks it's a rear end of a of a dog or an animal and 229 I believe there's a big old teddy bear pillow right there Balu, it's a Balu. But uh, here's some wardrobes. And again, I, I I I do buy a lot from IKEA. I actually have this. Uh, this was one of the things I was having trouble finding uh, a couple years ago. But uh, it held. It's I mean, it's holding up pretty good. Because I don't have a lot of closet space uh, in my bedroom, so I was looking for a wardrobe, and it held up. And yeah, right. To, look at this. Temporary, temporarily oversold. Okay. See, I told you a lot. They they do sell out uh, of a lot of stuff, but and then on these bigger pieces, a lot of stuff you can get here. But if you buy some of these big items, um, they send you to another department, like another warehouse of theirs. It's not far from here. It's not even less than a mile, right? Yes. It's, it's just right around uh, a couple streets over. And that's another warehouse of theirs. And, and uh, you can pick it up there. And, and yes, you have to put it together. <laughs> so here's some dressers of course it looks like they're working this is usually filled up but i can tell they're working on the uh, drywall and stuff here so they're setting this different area up that's pretty neat but yeah i don't think so for that um a lot of the stuff is cheap here not cheap quality but it's cheaply priced most of it some of the stuff not gonna happen but here's the kids area that we're coming up to. Here's those little tubes that you can crawl through. I've bought a lot of kids stuff here in Ikea. Looks like there are uh, exciting things are happening behind the curtain. And uh, look at this. Peekaboo. Ain't nothing really to see just yet. But uh, yeah, look, got different different curtains, different bedding, 
Got a penguin down there, stuffed animals. Got this, look at this snail. Look at the snail pillow. That's neat. Valentine's Day, got the heart set up. And check this room out. This been here, this been here forever. They've been selling this forever. It turns, you can sit in there and uh, completely close it on yourself and, and hide. Yeah, I, I always thought that was pretty cool. And this is really cool. It reminds me of the Death Star, actually. Check this out. How cool is that? <laughs> I love it. I love that. <laughs> you tried? Yeah. You got to pull the middle down. Little works. Yeah, this is pretty cool. See, so you can get inspiration from a lot of these rooms. I mean, they have designers here that come in here and they they do work on the room, so it looks fun and uh, you know, there's a cardboard cardboard rocket ship right there. Check this light out. Switches different colors: green, turquoise, blue, purple, turquoise again, red. It's pretty neat. And these these are always cool too these bins and these are usually yeah i was gonna say they're they're seven bucks i use those quite a bit as well i think the kids section of ikea is always the fun the fun section even if you're an adult because you can if you have kids you know it's fun but if you don't have kids you can just oh i wish i would have had this when i was a kid yeah turtle down there yeah, how cool is that? I still I still like that. But look at that, I didn't notice, but yeah, it almost looks like a galaxy uh pattern back there. But yeah, check that out. This looks to be a girls' room back in here. Got the uh shark. Is that a whale shark right there? Whale shark pillow. Look at this whale pillow. Look at this whale pillow. I like that pattern on there. And then we got the, see if we can do this. Nope. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna try this one more time. I think maybe you gotta hold it by this and wing it. Maybe not. Okay, it's not sticking for me. How about I do that? Oh, they're not, they're really not sticking. They must be dirty. They look dirty. Okay, there we go. Everybody throwing them, it's, it needs cleaned. See, they, people draw on here. Inspiration, inspiration. Check this out. A little hand with uh, little space guys on it, an alien. Oh, like right there, look, it's a mobile with the aliens on there but yeah see this is new they have a lot of new stuff this year out oh here's some oh okay yeah the the finger puppets okay i thought it was like it is a stand yeah you can buy the stand but yeah these are the finger puppets that you can uh put on your own fingers and uh wow got some different carpets for the kids rooms you have your cars you can play on that got some stuffed animal puppy dogs and sharks i like these octop octopi here those are pretty cool and a drawing of one look he's holding it yeah he was the one painting he was the one painting the uh the picture Little cat, little fun cat print right there. There's that moose again. There's this tent right here. This has been here uh, forever as well. I remember this when my kids were young. They've had that. There's some more of the tunnels. And the prices aren't bad either. Look at that. And I just noticed there's a uh, the three sister bridges 
downtown Pittsburgh right there. Pretty sweet. Pizza. Those are fun, right? And look, everything's kind of like on sale today. $9.99 from $14.99. The pizza, that's cool. And a salad, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, look, right here is that setup. I think this is pretty cool, actually. Yeah. It comes with those. I can see you can decorate your own pizza, make your own pizza, and it you can do it. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. That is pretty neat. There's the pizzas again. A lot of cool stuff for the kids here. Oh, check those out up there. There's another one of them boards. And another rug. For the trains they sell their own uh brand right here and i told you all the everything's like that swedish that swedish brand oh check out the uh koalas they're not koalas panda panda bears 3.99 they got their eucalyptus monkeys we haven't uh, we haven't uh, had a uh, a language lesson in a while. Um, thunder, thunder. We'll give you another one, Magarmach. So yeah, pretty cool. These are always cool. Check these out. I seen these last time I was here. Hang those from the uh, hang those from the ceiling. Yeah, those are pretty sweet. Awesome. Well, we are out of the kids section, but now we're in like that office craft room section. Look at that, you got the, got your yarn. Yeah, you can get inspired. Get inspired and sit in these rooms. Actually, it's actually relaxing if you come here and uh, sit in some of these rooms. It's it gets busy in here, but there's always uh, areas where you can like get away from the crowd, get away from the people, and just kind of think of uh, what you want to work out in your design. Here's the uh, office. Furniture chairs, big office desks area. I think this is where a lot of people are spending their time in the office area. Uh, here's the kitchen area, different setups for a kitchen. Got some queso over there, some bruschetta. I don't know. Yeah, see? They're not real, it's funny. Everything's here. But uh we'll check out this laundry room. Yeah, kitchen across the the way there. Another little uh little setup here. This kinda this kinda is kinda nice, it's kinda secluded here, it's small. Uh I like it. Maybe you're in that small apartment. Oh, this one's actually, that's an actually real, real refrigerator right there. A lot of counter space for being small. Yeah, it is. That's why I say you come in here and it's, it is, it's a, it's, it's a small kitchen, but it seems like there's a lot of, I'd be happy with it. There's a lot of area in here and it's, it's together well. Want a bigger one? You got the vent. Right there, yeah. This one's a. This one's nice. I do like this one. I don't like the colors or anything, but uh, I do like the setup here. Some oranges right there on the counter, and uh, daytime outside. I like these racks. So, is it five dollars for 
this? No. Three pack of hooks. So it's oh, okay. It's ten bucks for the rack and five bucks for the three hooks. So fifteen bucks for a uh, a rack. Here's the kitchen area here. So you can grab all your uh, kitchen chairs. And there was a section that we passed. Like I said, I'm not showing I'm not showing everything in here today because we would be here forever i just wanted to kind of pinpoint some different sections of each area uh but yeah we're almost uh we're almost done with the upstairs of this ikea i'll check those out those are pretty neat yeah we're almost done with the upstairs here actually we are here pretty much um but we'll go downstairs but you know what are you getting a little hungry yes i'm kind of getting a little hungry I think we should uh, maybe get some meatballs. <laughs> so we're in the cafeteria, the restaurant, I should say, of Ikea. Uh, they made it a little different. It's a little bigger than I thought. And this is probably the busiest that I've ever seen it up in here. But what you do here is you grab one of these fancy uh, little tray holders and kind of kind of just like yesterday at the gem the gem show you grab a tray and we're gonna go around and we're gonna pick what we want and then we pay there and then we're gonna sit over there so I'm gonna get my food and uh, we'll sit down for a little bit and eat That looks really good right there. Yeah, I was talking to the people that work here, so the, the cooks and stuff like that, and the, and the person who rang me up, they, they said it was so busy. I told you, this is the busiest I've seen the restaurant in a while. Now, Here's what I've got, but before we before we dive into that, if you come here in in the spring or summertime when it's nice out, you can sit outside there. And when you're outside, I told you we were by the airport. You can watch the planes go by. Uh, not so not so much take off, but you can you can watch them land. Um, so it you know coming down. So that's pretty cool. But me and Mindy both and she, Mindy says she's never tried the uh, meatballs here which I found crazy but these are the, the 16 meatballs I think I think it was 12 10 no $12 I think for this um, 16 meatballs so we got the meatballs with the sauce we got the um, Legan berries. I got the peas, we got the mashed potatoes, and I dig how they have the flags. Check that out. They got the Swedish flags on it. I told you, you got that yellow and that blue. Um, but let's let's try one of these meatballs. Seriously, if you come to IKEA. Mm, man if you come to ikea they have other food here you gotta get the meatballs <laughs> gotta get the meatballs that's what you come here for but all their food is really i've never had any bad food here at at this ikea ever man but what we're gonna do is i'm gonna finish eating up here and I'm gonna take you to the downstairs and show you around down there because that's where you're gonna find your loose items, your pillows, your rugs, your lamps, your lights, your hooks, and all that kind of stuff. And then we'll end up in another room where I'll show you, like I told you you had to write stuff down. I'll show you like their warehouse part of where you get to pick everything out. And then uh, we'll go back down to the rain. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna finish my plate. All right. 
now that we're done with our Swedish meatballs I'm gonna show you the downstairs this is yeah I think this might be another I, I think the whole store is like is is a favorite everybody's but uh, down here is pretty cool too this is where you're gonna find all your singles you know all the stuff that you didn't have to write down like all your kitchen stuff the pillars yep i was looking for a funnel the other day smaller one than that though that's what i was looking for but that would have worked it's a nice design on those Cody's Game Day IPA. Sounds good to me. Got some margarita glasses up there. Actually, their glasses, uh, we've gotten some glasses from here. Uh, they held up pretty well, actually. But yeah, see? Down here, glasses, dishes, plates, knives. Lingonberry. All right. Wine racks. And it's new. So those are new for 2024. Come down here. You got the bedding section. Down in here. All your pillows. Here's uh, some of those pillows I were talking about. Like you could buy the pillows and stuff that we've seen up, upstairs. But there's the octa, octopi uh, pillow. And uh, cool little seahorse pillow. Yeah. I guess that must be a waterproof. Uh, it is. Keep liquids from ruining your mattresses. So yeah. But I, I really like that seahorse pillow. Check this little roller rack out. Let's see, they got a green one and they got a white one up there. Wooden wheels. Got the casters. And there you go. Just keep in mind, if you were writing stuff down that you wanted to buy, we'll be getting to that section pretty soon. But yeah, everything you have to put together. I'm telling you, like this right here, it, uh, it's probably hardly any any direction in it at all but uh you'd be putting this whole thing together it, it's but but you know what sometimes it's fun sometimes if you buy a lot of stuff it's overwhelming but if you're just buying something it's it's uh it works out and they're pretty solid you know this must be a new yeah it is new but look at the scheme i'm seeing a bunch of yellow and greens uh for 2024 And uh, I think I've got, I think I ordered those or I picked them up uh, in my front room. And yeah, I think close to those, I believe they are. The navy blue ones? But yeah, we got navy blue ones and uh, they actually held up. So a lot of, a lot of the stuff I can, I can vouch for like the quality of it and uh how well they hold up like these right here these uh no those aren't the ones i got those are the blinds they have those that um i don't see them here unless i got rid of them they look like this and they if there's a track where they slide i made it do that oh wow press yeah. the button like okay right yeah check it okay let's see you have a broken one. Oh no I hear it though. Oh, there he goes. Mindy got it. Yep. The electric, uh, electric shades. I like the cityscape. Let's see, will it come down? I don't know if it does That's doesn't. PPG place. It is, is that Pittsburgh? 
Well, no. That looks like PPG Place to me. No, it is. That is Pittsburgh because they there is PPG Place, but it doesn't look. I don't know. That looks like PPG. But that place. that is PPG Place right there. Huh. I'm trying to. I don't know if there's a separate way to make this go down or what. I don't know. I don't know. But we got them all up. I don't know if this is. No, is that Mount Washington up there? No. Yeah, because I think that's... It is? is I, think I don't so. know, because I'm looking. Maybe this is a way back old picture I see at the top of the Civic Arena up right. there. <laughs> that's what it looks like. No, it is. There's a Smithfield Bridge. This is Pittsburgh. I told you. From a different view, I that's guess. The old jail. Yeah, there's the old jail there at the Smithfield. Uh, and I, I did a video on that. Man, you can... Uh, Watch Flashdance. That bridge is in there in the movie. So yeah, that's cool. All right. Got some rugs and carpet in this area. See, little, little, uh, little facts that they have hanging up all around the store. But yeah, wide array of all your, all your mats and rugs. Here's, uh, the layout of, uh, Ikea itself we just walked that see how it's One way every store is like that no matter what store you go to it's all one way That way you don't miss anything in the store and there's where we are downstairs right now Here's all the container the container section and These here 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 are these we seen them upstairs and the kids uh, in that space room yeah, see, they're new for 2024. So a lot of stuff new for 2024. And these these hold up really well. They hold up really well. And they, they got the Christmas vibe going on still. Here's those hooks that we've seen upstairs. The little, uh, they are rubber. So... They don't hurt or anything like that, and they bend with their code hooks. Check these ones out. There's, I, I dig those. These are pretty cool, too. These are actual hooks, code hooks as well. That's pretty neat. And these ones are, those ones are okay, but I like those ones. Yes. Yeah. So you can buy the IKEA bags, and look at this. You could buy a waterproof right there there's one with a face um maybe maybe you can buy one of those and, and go up to niagara falls and ride the maid of the mist and uh yeah you can i see some chocolate up there as well we'll get to that we'll get to those because there is a section where they sell that stuff but yeah 99 cents for an oh, ikea bag all right obviously looks like we are in the light section of ikea and there's those rock there's the uh rocket lamp we've seen that it's green right now it changes colors yeah check those out those are pretty cool here they are right here see these you know again downstairs here a lot of this stuff is the loose items um that you can just pick up and buy it right here but yeah check out all the lights here and these are speakers there you go talking pittsburgh ease yeah <laughs> that's pretty cool their speakers wow awesome this uh looks like 
Star Wars vibe. Wicker shades. Uh, that's just, I guess, just a fun light. You can program it and do different things. There's a, looks like a big donut right there. And the wall, the wall of color. Butterflies, hearts, clouds. So I think, are they lights or covers? Yeah, see they are actual lights. 1999. Some turtle lights. There's the pony light right there. Now I haven't bought, I haven't bought, oh you can buy those, okay I thought those were just uh, decorations for the hat that I was talking about, but you can buy those, those lights. Look at this, check the idea out, they have the LED lights coming out, the same color of the crown lights, so that's pretty neat. Yeah see they still got that Christmas vibe going on. Oh man, we gotta get rid of that. Bring on the summer vibes. Some more lights. These are those fancy lights. And you know, I just seen this. And I don't think I've ever seen this before on any of the items. There's the designer right there. And it tells why or how, you know, what her design was inspired by, I guess. Yeah, ain't that cool? And these ones are really neat. Look. Ain't that cool? And here's that one we've seen upstairs. And uh, let me open this one up. There we go. How cool is that? So there's what it looks like closed and open there's some string lights check this one out it has the dragonflies on it that's pretty neat yeah i don't know i was talking about it but i i bought some lighting from ikea um <coughs> some were good some were not so i guess you kind of have to come here Fill it out for yourself. See how delicate they are. See how strong they are. Yeah, prime example. This stuff, it looks real cool, but it's made out of paper. So like, like a Chinese uh, a Chinese lantern style and uh, real easy to poke through. So unless it's just sitting there, you know, it's good. If it's in a kid's room or something, eh, not, not, eh, not so good. And I had, I bought some of the pole lights. Um, they got stripped out and what but yeah come here check out for yourself and see what you think and they got some art down here as well actually some of the art here is uh pretty neat i like it oh look the periodic table i don't know if you can see that because of the light shining on it uh that I've not seen before too. I wonder if that's new. It doesn't say new for 2024, but it's new because uh, I've never seen it. Candle section. Got your tea lights. It smells good over here in this area. Yeah, look, here's another one. Uh, again, man, I've I've not seen those before. I just noticed those today. Yeah, but uh, smells really good over here, actually. Hopefully. And they even have a plant section over here, this whole area um, of plants. Some are real, some aren't. I think these are real. Yeah, everything yeah these, okay, these are real because they do have 
we'll peek through over there uh, there's some fake air plants over there but yeah these are these are real so pretty cool huh all right and here we are uh, in the section that I wanted to tell you about it's not a separate warehouse okay but this is the area where if you were writing things down when you came in and you got that pad of paper and the pencil and you look you know oh, I want this and you would write down what aisle and what lot number so on the outside of there they have like 20 21 22 23 for the for the the aisle here we're in 19 aisle 19 so we look at I-19 or aisle 19 and you would look at you could either use this scan it or um, I'm looking for the uh, oh here it is the bin number I'm looking in the wrong place so bin so if you needed something in aisle 19 and bin 5 that you wrote down we know that we're in aisle 19 and you would look up in bin 5 and voila there's the product so yeah it's just a this is the area where you would pick up your items they have buggies and carts that you can put the stuff on again if you bought something big they do have a separate store warehouse that you go to and it's not far from here it's like within a mile and you go pick up that bigger stuff there but uh yeah that's how the store works and uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Like I said, two people in the world. People that love Ikea and people that just never been here and don't know about it. But uh, one more area of the store we can check out. And that's where they have the food. Let's go find that. Alright, if you look behind me, that's all the checkout stuff over there. We got people lounging around waiting for people to go through the checkout lines. But... Here's the last section that I was going to show you over here. Got the Swedish cookies. So, and these are actually all around the store. They're, they're scattered throughout, so you don't have to wait to pick them up when you get down here. And there's that chocolate we were looking at upstairs. Milk chocolate, dark chocolate cookies see Swedish kafarep whatever however you pronounce it kafarep cookies got your they even got frozen stuff lingonberry everything's lingonberry because that's uh, the fruit it's in Sweden Surprised they don't have the uh, Sweden Pepsi label. Chocolate bars. More frozen. And there's the. Uh, those are plant based meatballs. Chicken meatballs. But you can buy your meatballs here that you got upstairs. Legenberry drink. Apple and Legenberry. You buy a whole 12 pack of it down there. Meatballs. Oh, here they are, right here. I walked right past them, I think. Yep. There are the Swedish meatballs. Okay. So that was the end of the IKEA experience. So if that was your first time ever to be inside an IKEA, I'm glad I could 
bring that to you. Hopefully that will get you to come to one of these. Didn't show you everything. Did not definitely show you everything. Uh, but I showed you different parts of every section. Um, this is the one in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I know the other one that's closest to me, I believe, is in Columbus, Ohio. So they're scattered out throughout. Uh, like I said, the last I knew, there was 422 of them, which I think that there's more than that now. Um, they're all the same kind of experience, the same layout, the same way you have to purchase everything. But it's a fun time. Some, I mean, we come here and, and just let's go to ikea and we walk around you're inside in the summertime it's cool in there in the winter time it's warm in there today it's raining it was dry in there you come here you look to see what they got new out grab something to eat like i said in the summertime for this one the we're right by the airport so you can experience the planes coming in and and taking off and stuff like that so ikea is a really cool day trip uh to have so i don't know how long this video is i said i was going to keep it short um so i guess time will tell on that one when i go to edit it um but hope you like the video like i said this time of year it's it's cold and if the weather's weird so i try to do indoor things so today it was ikea um but i want to thank you for coming on today's adventure hit the like button hit the subscribe button comment share the channel but definitely subscribe i'm getting up there um and i want to thank everybody that already is a subscriber for their support i love it and uh until i see you on the next adventure wherever that may be bad malenka